All right, everybody, welcome back to another X Vault Gaming. X Vault here, and oh. All right. Well, if that doesn't explain it, uh, the topic of today for the Salty Batch Files here is in regards to hell divers and just driving everybody over the edge. So we're going to have some fun here. We're going to go over some great examples. So without further ado, let's go ahead and jump to it. All right, like I was saying, we have some great salt coming from the Xbox community once again in regards to the ever successful Helldivers 2. They just can't help themselves. First up, everybody's favorite New Yorker. We have Gaming Profit NYC, of course, uh, stating, as you can see, now IGN is uh, hated games as a service games as they prefer single player story driven games but now all of a sudden they love games as a service games hmm i wonder what changed in regards to him freaking out about the fact that now there's a biasness towards sony because yes hell divers 2 definitely isn't a 10 times better game than the much aforementioned suicide squad that was getting crapped on before it was even coming out before the betas were done, before everything in between. But yes, IGN has an affinity towards PlayStation. Brian McCaffrey, Brian Altano, Max Scoville, all of them PlayStation haters. Most of the staff, not big PlayStation fans, but yes, they have an affinity towards PlayStation themselves and giving them a boosted masterclass exclusive reviews <laughs> you freaking moron <laughs> my god you see how these guys spin the narrative anything that doesn't work in their way crazy good old goat gaming get uh, here again I, I keep hearing he's not a big fan of me for calling him out but uh you know we're going to continue to do so because if you want to be an idiot you're going to be treated like an idiot so as you can see can't believe how bad hell divers is flopping on playstation false PC is doing well, but only a quarter of the players are actually playing on PlayStation. False. Which is a huge disappointment for Sony. False. Not even 100,000 on PlayStation. Again, incorrect misinformation. Something they love to do nonstop. As you can tell and look up at anything, we have the highest concurrent players and climbing and climbing and climbing higher and higher. Had well over 400,000 concurrent players just recently this past weekend. So... What an idiot. Then we have everybody's favorite catfish trying to rebrand themselves. Yes, Joseph Cruz, sorry you're not off the hook ever. Pun intended with that catfish joke. All crying emojis here because, oh, we got the classic partying, celebrating meme going on. And we have Pal World, Hogwarts, Baldur's Gate, Starfield, Halo Infinite even all above Helldivers 2. Now, as you can tell, this was probably posted beforehand. Yes, it was before we knew of all this. Benefit of the doubt that they didn't think it would climb that high? Oh, it's past Halo Infinite, it's past Starfield, it passed Baldur's Gate. It keeps on climbing. Uh, so this aged really poorly like soured milk. Aged poorly like the assumptions that come out of their ass. It ages so horribly. You love to see it. You love to see it here. <laughs> and this is when they're posting when it was at 81,000. The fact that it did so much more is on another level. That's what's hilarious to me. All right, we can't forget about Beach of Truth here, of course. Now, he states, don't ever compare Xbox console exclusives to PlayStation console exclusives again because we know how that is. There's absolutely no reason that Helldivers 2 wasn't as supported by y'all on your PCs you use to play Xbox games the way we supported PAL World. Y'all don't play games, you play Metacritic 100. Uh, no, you idiot. Uh, <laughs> it's, again, what, what's going on here? And obviously it climbed up from the 77% here and got higher. Again, the fact that they use PAL World is, is console war ammo here is absolutely insane because 
Xbox had absolutely nothing to do with PAL World. The only thing that fell in Xbox's favor is the fact that they allow early access games. So not only do PC gamers, but also Xbox gamers come out here and they get to beta test everything before it comes out in official access. Bugs and all, crashes and all, everything else in between. So they have to sit there and do that. That's what I find hilarious. So not only are you doing that, but number two, I'm sorry. I'm at an age now and I love, I still love me some Pokemon. I still love me some Digimon. I love me Pokemon knockoffs. I like Temtem. I will be playing Pal World, but I promise you, if there is a world in which there is, that I have to choose Helldivers 2 or Pal World, I'm going to play Helldivers 2. It is an experience. It is a refreshing experience right now. Not to take anything away from Pal World or its success, but I'm not alone in feeling that way. You are trying to cap, and I know you personally, if you had the choice to do either or for your platform, you would also choose Helldivers 2, you salty bitch. All right, let's go on. So it's still rain mentions at the bottom of it, though. My man, it's simple. Pokemon has a huge appeal to a wider audience. True. It has zero to do with Xbox versus PlayStation versus PC. You're making this up in your head. Also true. This guy is this guy is absolutely gone. If you've ever seen or heard this guy, hopefully you haven't. If you're visiting, you don't know him. Please do yourself a favor and don't do anything like that. I don't like Pokemon, so I didn't get Pal World, but got Hell Divers, and I don't play PlayStation. Relax. Again, not alone in this sentiment here. So let's keep going here. Go Gaming is back already because he can't stop taking the L's. Exclusive PlayStation fans still upset Helldivers is flopping with a Metacritic score of 83 and Steam at 77. It's considered a flop. The game is still below 300k all-time players while Power World hit 2 million concurrent players when it came out. PlayStation fans are upset again. Nothing but misinformation as you can see here like we just spoke about. Had a very high... Um, record for concurrent players and everything for Helldivers this past weekend yet again. I consider this going to continue to grow. The servers are constantly getting added to make room for everybody joining because as you notice, you can't get in all that easy. As frustrated, frustrating as it is, remember if you didn't check out my past video just recently, the devs thought it was only going to break 10k players. They did not expect anywhere near 400k plus concurrent players. So, that being said, deal with it uh, and stop spreading misinformation, you jabroni. You jabroni. <laughs> Can I say that? Can I say that still? Because, uh, you know, I want to steal The Rock. I don't say it as good as The Rock, but that's exactly what he is. Um, and again, I using Pal World as bait as console war fodder it's coming to other platforms when it's at an early access you idiot hell divers isn't in early access hell divers isn't coming to xbox you can sign all the petitions you want it's not coming to xbox sorry put that in your cup and sip it right all right boss sean here Ponies out here looking stupid AF, twerking in the streets over Helldivers 2 because they've never in life had a multiplayer game perform moderately well. Incorrect. I've seen a pony clown celebrating being in 34th place while Xbox games sits in second place all time. No. You dudes needed to get together. They are talking about Halo Infinite but won't mention Pal World or the fact Halo Infinite outperformed every PlayStation first party game on PC ever made. Uh, yeah, no. Uh, we aren't talking about Pal World because Pal World is not exclusive to your platform. Pal World is coming to other platforms like I just mentioned, you idiot. <laughs> Pal World! Pal World! That's all you got? You want to talk about dryness and first party? All you have is Pal World. On the PlayStation ecosystem, not only are we getting Helldivers, we're getting Final Fantasy VII Rebirth soon, we're getting Stellar Blade soon, we're getting Rise of the Ronin soon. And you guys aren't getting anything until when? Maybe May? And so you're using this non-third party, just the way it happened to fall, the cards fell where they may? Jeez Louise. And then of course we have to have the legal here. Helldivers is a mess. You see no media outlets out here showcases it. 
You hear nothing but how the gameplay is horrible right now. Complete silence. I'd be quiet too. A hundred. You like how they have to always put a hundred like it's certain facts. The, the, the delusion that they put out is all facts and just how upset they all are at the success as it continues to go on. So they want to poke and prod at the fact that Helldivers has had server issues due to the fact of it being overloaded from success. <laughs> from success. That's what's going on. That's what they're upset about. They're begging. There's a petition. They're talking about port begging as of recent. And not even recent, but I'd say the past like two months. That's the new narrative that they want to put. You're port begging. You're port begging to get Starfield over there and Sea of Thieves and Hi-Fi Rush and every other IP that Xbox has first party. You're port begging. But you guys literally are at port begging maximum effort here by doing petitions and you all whining and showing your salt about the success. Here's an idea. Like I mentioned someone before, when I wanted to play a Halo game, I either got a PC or I bought an Xbox system if I wanted to play it. Now, before we get to the very end of everything here, my favorite that we have to go over, of course, is good old Colt Eastwood. And we have to pick apart and show the fact of this insane review he did, a little brief synopsis he did of his experience with Helldivers 2. Take a look. Um, end of the 360 PS3 generation when everybody was making a multiplayer-based third-person cover shooter. Uh, that's what Helldivers 2 is. But in the end, you're mostly shooting stupid bugs that aren't fun to shoot even in Starfield uh, or in Far Cry Lost on Mars DLC if you played that. Um, I've played a few matches. I played a couple of matches with Gaz. And I just said, you know what? I, I, I'm not going to... I don't like this game. I don't think it's uh, something that I would be playing very long because they just drop you in a random location on terrorized from aliens earth. There's also some robots you fight and it just feels very one dimensional. Now with that being said is you can see how asinine that is. You can see, you know, the point of these videos, right, is the salt. The salty batch files showing it. Nothing exudes it more than this right here. Than this example right here. He is so butthurt that it's not on the Xbox consoles. And that's, for him, it's just not, it's good. It's shooting bugs and nothing special. It's a cover shooter. It's not a cover shooter. What are you talking about? That shows how asinine you are, how ridiculous you are. You don't know what you're talking about. Consistent misinformation because you're so hurt that it's not the success of the platform that you prefer, even though you're trying to shift and be like, Xbox is everywhere, screens everywhere. No, you're upset because of the fact that it's not on your platform. Therefore, you got to downplay it. Helldiver's successful? Nah, nah, no, it's not. It's not fun. You're just shooting bugs. Doesn't even mention the robots. Doesn't mention the automatons. Doesn't mention anything else. The other experiences you have to have. If any game, have you put in maybe like an hour and a half? And do you feel you come away with knowing a lot? With most games that do <clears throat> minimally have to give you know at least five hours to to just get the meat of it you can get a good sense of it in a way hell divers is something special right from the get-go i know he felt it everybody else that he's been playing with or around has felt it you have a plenty of xbox fanboys playing this game whether it be on their playstation 5s they just so happen to have all of a sudden to secretly play those exclusives that they do not want you to know about or they end up playing them on PC regardless. But that's the interesting fact. Another shill, another hypocrite. Go look at the last video and the nonsense he said about Redfall. Continue to follow this guy like a sheep. Don't do it. He, look how ridiculous he is. He is ridiculous. That being said, let's wrap up the video here. I appreciate it, everybody. All your support, as usual, means the world to me. At this point in time, we are at... 1,245 subscribers out of that 1,500 goal. So thank you so, so much. The support truly means the world to me. So thank you again. That being said, definitely consider liking, commenting. That helps out the algorithm tremendously. And of course, if you haven't already, definitely consider subscribing, helping out a small content creator like myself. 
And that being said, just remember folks, don't be a salty batch. All right, and we'll see you guys next time on the next XFL Gaming video. Take care.